ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen and ladies. We got some things to talk about. And we got a little bit of the barge playing in my background. And they're going to be here with me talking about the revealing of times and in a special way and how they like things and there's rhythm in somebody's night. So let's get started, everybody. We got some things to talk about. I haven't talked about these things since. Now, I, I stopped Love Me in a Special Way just for a moment. And I say just for a moment because what we got to talk about is this one subject that's right behind you. And sorry, I am um, picking songs right now in the background, so I apologize. And as I'm picking those songs, I want you all to focus on what's on the screen. Yes, I'm multitasking today because I have a lot to do. And guess what? I'm going to show you all what I'm doing. Okay? So, while I have my people playing in the background, I want you all to pay attention to what we have here. Oh, I don't want Hewitt and Associates. I don't even know how I got over here. I guess I hit the screen the wrong way. I apologize. Let's get back here. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have you go to adrreports.eu. This is the European database. Now, this is an official government website. This is not, pay attention, this is not one of those websites that your grandmama would go to if she looking to get some uh, rheumatoid arthritis medication, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, we have some things we need to look at. We have some things we need to point out to you. They have some warnings here. Now, if you notice Russian, and that's probably, let's see if I can get it in English. Where's my EN? I don't, uh, I can't. I, uh, oh, by the way, let you know, EU. European Union laws apply only to the territories of Northern Ireland to the extent as foreseen by protocols and all that other stuff. Let's talk about their information that is spoken of here. Now, my, my problem, and it should not be what we're looking at right now, my problem here is this is Russian and I need to get it translated. And let's see if it will do the transmolation. I don't think it's going to be transmolation it for me. No, I don't want to do. See, I know some of you guys know. And I know you're yelling at the screen. But we ain't going to worry about that. Because on my phone, I was able to go there directly. And it was in English. Ladies and gentlemen. The information that I found, and they do have a disclaimer, and I want you guys to understand their disclaimer, because that's important, and you know what, I what I should have done is I should have took care of the language here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause you guys once I get here, this disclaimer and the other disclaimer on the page lets you know that they haven't done the full investigation and because they haven't done the full investigation, they cannot actually say that you can run with this information. I'm going to say the same thing. All the research hasn't been done. All the studies haven't been done. And because all the studies and all the research hasn't been done, before I can get on their site, they want me to accept the terms and the conditions. So what we're going to do is, remember I did search? So that's what you're going to do. You're going to do search. You're going to do C for COVID. Now, I want you to understand, you're going to have to go down to COVID. Where you at, C-O-V? 
Wait a minute. It's on my phone. How come it ain't here? Ladies and gentlemen, my phone, I was able to go down, and the list was a lot longer than this. That's why I was surprised at the side over there. So let me go ahead and do that search. I didn't have to do search this way. But this is where I'm going to ask you guys to start. Hey, who, who's Johnny? Y'all know who Johnny is? Okay. We're going to... Oh, yeah, we don't want substances. We want products. So this is the one I want. And centrally authorized medicine, non-centrally authorized medicines across the... Blah, blah, blah. I'm not... I don't understand why it ain't letting me find what I need to find. So let's go home. Okay. Yeah, this is the information which lets you know that it hasn't been fully tested. This is the first page that it took me to. Then it had me click on a link. So I don't want those. Search for a report. Well, I don't want to. I hit the wrong button. I'm not trying to search for a report. But I am trying to search for the suspected. And I did not see COVID-19. So, like I said, we do these videos without me going to the sites like on my computer first and it does list it as COVID-19 on the one that I went to so let's click here and see if this is a uh, because it listed it under COVID and it had the several different COVIDs so it had uh, AstraZeneca and all of them so it must be this list right here because this is the more detailed list. See, there it is right here. It's this list. I found it. Yay! I found it. I found it. Look, I found it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the first one I looked up was, I, I tapped on this one. I'm going to suggest you all do the same thing. Look at the studies. Some of the adverse reactions that people are having are not good. Now, again, they don't know what the cause of these Oh, that's what it is. Okay, I didn't even see that. I wasn't looking in that corner. The sun or the reflection is hitting that spot. So I just had to turn the computer a different way so I can see the whole screen. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I would strongly advise someone sent this to me. Now, see, I am the skeptic. I don't believe it. Just because somebody says something doesn't make it true. There are a lot of people who are talking about the vaccine. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have an opinion on the vaccines. Because I've had so many adverse affection, affections. I've had so many adverse affections. Anyway, I've had so many adverse reactions to drugs and vaccines and things in my past. It is, I stay away. And I, I've done all right for the most part, but not, not for the most, most part. You know what I'm saying? So let, let's look at the, the map that's right here, and let's show you how detailed it is. Uh-oh, my screen ain't reactive. Yeah, my screen ain't reactive right now. It's not letting me react. So, see, it, it's, it's, it's saying, what, what, what you think you're doing, boy? That, that's what my screen's saying. So I'm going to increase it that way. So let me pause you guys so... It looks like it's going to be reactive. There we go. It's about time. My, my screen, it just want to play games with me. And I don't know why it wants to play games with me. It won't have me sit up here and say, I'm going to pause y'all when I don't need to pause y'all. Now, it says individual cases. Uh, number of individual cases received over time. Or received, yeah, received over time. Number of individual cases by EEA countries. And number of individual cases by reaction group, number of individual cases for the selective reaction group, number of individual cases for the selective reaction. Okay, that's what all of the top is. These are all the individual cases. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand what these cases are. Number of individual cases identified in the Endura Vigilance for COVID Moderna vaccine. See, Moderna. 
ladies and gentlemen, these are not the vaccines that were received. These are the number of cases of individuals reporting adverse reactions. Now, hold on now. Before you jump off the side of the building, ladies and gentlemen, so that you guys will understand, and we're going to skip. This is the barge, and I I did pick the barge, but what I don't want to do is all the barge this morning. Uh, So what I'm going to do, because I added the barge to my playlist, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the playlist, which is going to have everybody. And their grandfather, you know how their grandfather likes to sit up there and get get involved in conversations with you and you don't want to talk to him, but he just sits up and just start talking? Well, yeah, he's going to be showing up too. So, I got to find him. Hold on. So that I can get started. But you you were headed somewhere and you stopped and not thinking you're not going to be able to return back to where you were headed. And you know how you do, how you get distracted? And so I don't want you to get distracted. Okay, well, we're not going to get distracted. We're going to do it this way. Yeah, let's do it this way. Thank you, DeBarge, L. DeBarge. My uh, favorite would be Chico because of all that he's been through and the fact that he's still going. Uh, Elder Barge, too. He's been through a lot, and he's still going, too. Ladies and gentlemen, each of these adverse effects that individuals are having could be so much of a rash or pain at the injection site, those type of things. So you'll have to go into the reports to see, see, number of individual cases, number of individual cases received over time, number of individual cases in EEA countries. Okay, so you'll have to... Um, go over these results, and these are the official results for this particular vaccine. You'll have to go over the results for each. Okay, you see that they are detailed. They are keeping records. Why? Because this is a experiment. These drugs were not tested prior to, yes, we can call them a drug. You guys must understand what a drug is. You must understand what the legal definition of a drug is. That's why alcohol can be a drug. That's why a synthetic compound can be a drug. So just make sure you understand that because a lot of people think that there has to be some special thing that calls something a drug. A vaccine is a drug, people. Now... Pay attention. I want you to understand so that you get it. Hold on. We're going to go all the way back up to the top. Okay. I want you to see that you don't see the word. You see that word right there? You don't see that in the official title. Go ahead and do the research. It's not officially called a vaccine. It is a compound. Okay, but it is not officially a vaccine. Then you got to do the definition, medical definition for vaccine. Hey, 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 I'm not a medical doctor. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I'm not telling people to do something or not to do something. I'm saying everybody must do their due diligence. If you go to the doctor and the doctor tell you, oh, we're going to need to remove your pancreas. You're going to be like, you're going to need to remove what? We're going to need to remove your pancreas, mother. (laughs) Wait, hold on. What's your name again? What do you mean, what's my name? See, it right there says doctor. What, 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 what's your name? That's my name, doctor. Wait, your name is doctor. That's right. Are you a real doctor? You see that name, right? That's my name. So, yes, I'm real. Flesh and blood. Doctor. Okay, tell you what, doctor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go talk to another doctor who might be your twin. And I'm going to get his opinion. Well, he's going to tell you the same thing I told you because he's a doctor too. Okay, thank you. So you have the right to a second opinion. You have the right to check and see. There are at least nine different vaccines out there. So which one are you going to take? Have you checked? 
Which one has the least side effects? Have you checked? You need to do your research, people. Now, mind you, I'm in an area where in the past week, the only person that I've had contact with, I want you to pay attention, is the postal carrier who comes in contact with a whole lot of people. And, well, actually, this one doesn't. He literally delivers mail to this box here, and he works inside the post office itself. So that's all he does is come all the way up here and then go all the way back down. That's what he does. That's his routine. Back to you all so that you understand what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. My contact with people is a lot less than your contact with people. The UPS driver and the postal driver, those are the only two people I've come in contact with. Those are my physical contact people. Everybody else is online. So there is no need for anybody to even suggest that I need to be vaccinated from COVID. By the way, I've also had it twice. So if anybody wants to argue, I put together an immunity. That's right. They said we had to get, it's called herd immunity. Okay. Now, I'm not actually advocating that, but I'm saying if anybody ever came to me and said, well, you need to, excuse me, I've already had it twice. It's well documented that I've had it twice. I've already had the high temperature. I've already had the 106.8 temperature on two different days. Two different opposite of opposite days. In other words, one 106.7 and 106.8. Oh, is it not a radio station? That's right. And I was hitting all frequencies at that point. So I've already been through all that. I've already had the pneumonia. So... Again, with me, I'm not concerned about somebody saying, you better take it, you have to take it, you're going to take it. Now, I want you guys to understand. Do you see this right here? 18 to 64 is the group of individuals who have had the more substantial adverse reactions in this particular section of this group. Okay? And this is the age group. Okay, because remember, they, they're dividing it up in these different groups. So, look, we're at 17 minutes. I wasn't trying to take this video this long. I just wanted to give you the website, where to go to start doing research. Remember, each of these nations are publishing reports like this because they must do so. Why? Because they're all part of the United Nations. Now, I told you I was doing something else. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm doing is I'm working on the website right now. We're going to be redoing the website. Um, I think I've put it up. Let's see if if we can show you just a, just a really, really, really quick. See, I hate it when it does that. Now i got to go and pull that particular page back up. Well, I actually don't have to. We're putting the search bar in there so you'll be able to search the site. I did get the search bar. So I didn't I don't have the site up because that's the SACOM site as it is now. So I don't have the one that I'm working on. But you'll notice that it'll be completely different. Okay, but that's what I'm working on all day. Okay. But again, ladies and gentlemen, do your research, look up the information, search it for yourself. Do not spread rumors. If you yourself don't have the facts don't go talking about it to anybody else as if it's a fact. I've been talking to so many people that tell me things and they, 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 they say it as if it's a fact, as if they know it for certain. And they haven't done the research. I can tell by the way they say it that they did no research. And that right there is irritating. Okay? It really is irritating hearing people talk out the side of their neck. They all want to, one guy wrote um, an email to me and he says, hey, I've been searching this stuff for a while and he says, I found your videos and I noticed that you show people what you're talking about. And then you're showing me information that I've been looking for for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I do. If I don't back up what I say, if I, if I can't prove what I say, why am I saying it?
that's why I said I haven't really spoke on AstraZeneca or any of these other issues, these so-called vaccines or COVID-19, because I don't know anything about it. There's a lot of talk, but I don't care about that talk. That talk don't mean nothing to me. Okay, what means something to me is what I can prove. See, I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses. All of you know this. I don't care how you feel about Jehovah's Witnesses. That's your ignorance and your prejudice. Knock yourselves out. If you have anything negative to say about Jehovah's Witnesses, that's your prejudice. That's your ignorance. I've heard all kinds of things about Jehovah's Witnesses. They don't believe in God. You're right. We don't believe in God. We believe in Jehovah God, the Almighty. They don't believe in Jesus. You're absolutely right. We don't believe in Jesus. We do believe in Jesus, the Christ, the only true Christ, the son of the living God. You guys don't believe in Christmas. You better believe we don't believe in Christmas. A pagan holiday? No, 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 no. Pagan holiday that has its origins from Babylon? The mistletoe? The Saint Nick? Of course, we don't believe in Christmas. We believe in the tradition. We believe in the holiday. But we don't believe in the principle behind it. The so-called belief that Jesus was born in a manger. People think that a manger was the building. A manger is the trough that they feed the animals in. Go back and look up the word manger. You see, we do our research. And ask anybody in your grandmama. The one thing you know about Jehovah's Witnesses is that they study. Well, you guys don't believe, and you guys think this, and you made this. And, and that's, we get that from people all the time. They, they mouth off what they've heard. They parrot what they've heard, not what they know, what they've heard. I even had one guy that I was having a conversation with run off on something telling me what I believe. People, you can't tell me what I believe because I will never tell you what I believe. If I give my opinion, I will say, hold, 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 hold up, this is my opinion. But you will never find out what I believe because what I believe is not important. What I believe is what I believe, and it doesn't have a bearing on any person on this planet. What I believe is what I believe. That's my belief. You don't have any control over it. You don't even have an opinion when it comes to my belief. That's why I don't tell it to people. Nobody knows what I believe. I've never repeated it. It's, it's, it's just that simple. I choose not to tell people what I believe because it doesn't matter. Now, I will tell you what I know. I will tell you what I can prove. That's different. So again, as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, it's my job to follow that tradition in my daily life of proving everything, of thoroughly researching everything like the Bereans did. It's a tradition, people. So if you have an opinion, you should hold on to that opinion. You should literally keep that opinion and not let it go. That's what they mean by keep your opinion to yourself. You should hold on to your opinion, never let it go, okay? You shouldn't be giving your opinion to other people because it's yours. Why would you give away your property to someone else? So if you have an opinion, hold on to your opinion. Nobody needs to know your opinion. I, I had to check myself a couple of times because I've made comments like uh, Justin Bieber, Tevin Campbell, uh, Kiefer Sutherland, Lionel Richie, uh, Paula Abdul. Uh, you know, I've given my personal observation of these individuals, their songs and everything, and I've had to curtail that by not saying what I really feel because I'm not trying to influence anybody else. And when somebody is negative about someone, then that lets you know that there's some jealousy. And let me let you know, I am a little jealous of Kiefer Sutherland, even though I met the man and, 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 and I, that didn't go too well. I like him as an artist, as an actor. Lionel Richie, very jealous of that man. Because that fool can sing, okay? Met him as a person, didn't appreciate it. Okay? So there's usually jealousy if somebody says something negative about someone. Just that simple. So just pay attention. You hear me say neg something negative about somebody? Then know there's some jealousy. 
like those crackheads who make those stupid comments on my video. I'm so I'm so jealous of them because I wish I was that stupid. Whew! Lord have mercy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, ladies and gents, we're going to go ahead and cut this show. 25 minutes. Hope this information proves helpful. Do your research. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies and gents, have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good time. I got work to do. Got to go. You and I.